Hey guys, so last month I took a trip to Cuba. Viva Cuba! And it was with the entire family. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. You're seeing all the images here. We had a blast. We flew into Veradero and we had this amazing day trip to Havana. Yeah, it was awesome. It was amazing. Havana, Unana. It was great. It was great. So I'm going to tell you all about it. I know I usually post jobs here, but I just want to show you how to have a good time and what you can do in an itinerary in Cuba. All right, so this is us arriving in Veradero. All right, it was beautiful, great country. If you've never been to Cuba, put it on your bucket list. It's a country like no other, all right? Um, we're at the airport, we're on the bus leaving. It's beautiful, it's green. It's like the Caribbean, it, it is the Caribbean, right? Like it's like any other Caribbean country. Um, Spanish speaking, it was fantastic. And so, you know, we're on the bus here just listening to our um, tour guide on the bus. And yeah, just enjoy the images here. It, it's fantastic, it was a great trip. And we're driving into the city, into uh, to our hotel. First hotel we went to was Iberostar, which you'll see in a couple minutes. And then uh, we ended up switching hotels, which I'll tell you all about that. That was a whole ordeal, guys. Um, but yeah, Veradero is probably like the most scenic and beautiful part of Cuba, touristy, right? Um, I think if we were to go back, we would just stay in Havana, like right away. But Verdo has the best beach. It has the best beach ever, okay? It's pure white sand, one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. It's fantastic. So yeah, it's quite a long uh, bus ride in. It's about like 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes from the airport. Um, plenty of time to take in um, some of the messaging from the uh, tour guide and and um, take in the sights and sound around and kind of see how people are living from, from afar, right? And you know, we passed that Mall of America, Plaza America. That's just a shopping mall. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a great place to spend your vacation. So Veradero is this long peninsula. If you look at the map, it's a really long peninsula. And so we see the coastline and a bay on the other side. And um, from Cuba, I, th I think from Veradero, you can see the Bay of Pigs where the invasion was. And so uh, we're getting into uh, Bella Vista, Veradero, it's a beautiful hotel, great property. We're with the family and we pull up from the bus. That's the coach that took us in with uh, Air Canada Vacations. We flew into Air Canada from Toronto. And uh, yeah, that's the main lobby. It's bright, it's airy, it's open. It's really nice. I'm just taking a stroll there to the balcony. Um, first, first things first though, the food at this, oh, it left, I, I don't even want to get into it yet, but I'm going to get into it. The food at this hotel was awful. I'm sorry. It was just brutal. It was so bad that after one day, like we had, so we got in around, um, afternoon and then we had lunch while they were fixing the room and, uh, the check-in, check-in was, was, first of all, check-in was four hours. It was way too long for us. And so with the long check-in, they gave us the runaround. Um, we ended up wanting to switch hotels, but I'll get into that soon. Beautiful property, absolutely beautiful property. You're seeing a pool there for the kids. You're seeing some pools uh, for the adults in front. Um, the rooms were, were quite nice. They have entertainment there. Um, again, beautiful property. Um, it has that curb appeal, right? Like it really has that curb appeal that makes you want to stay. It's Iberostar Star too, the big brand name. Um, but again, overall, it was a bit of a letdown for me. But uh, more on that soon. 
So this is the dining room that we're going in to get lunch. We're starving at that point. I'll show you what the food looks like. As you can see, uh, we're getting food here. Um, it's, it's like a cafeteria. It's kind of small. The lunch room was a little small. Um, but the dining hall, of course, is very big. The one thing that they didn't do too well was like give us forks and, and they didn't clean the table too quick. But the food here, you're seeing like fish and chicken. And the chicken was so bland. There was no seasoning on it. It was so bad. <laughs> but again, more on the food soon. The food was just like not good at all. Uh, but again, great property, great location. It's so beautiful. We're walking towards the beach now. Oh my gosh, it's, it was sunny. It was perfect weather. This is July. We went in July 2023. People chilling by the pool. And we're just heading out to the beach. Saying hi to the fam. Welcome to Cuba. It's hot, guys. Get your sunscreen. Make sure you travel with your sunscreen, your bug spray. Um, your hats, get a, get a hat, like a little um, sombrero. Play volleyball out there. Lounging on the lounge chairs. We didn't have any issues with the lounge chairs. We read reviews. No issues with the lounge chairs. There's plenty to go around. But if you want, you can go early in the morning. The water is so clear, it's beautiful. There's fish swimming around in the water too, like little fishies at your feet. And, and it's so shallow, like way out. You can go way out and it's so shallow. We're getting drinks now. Fresh mango juice, oh my gosh. Make sure you tip these guys too. They work so hard, the bartenders. Tip them and tip them good, all right? Cheers. Beautiful scenery. Just watching the sunset. Yeah, and at night, you know, we're going over to the theater area. We're going to go check out the live entertainment. Some dancing and performances. They had a kids dance party, which was really cool. Something for, fun for the family. Having a good time here. <laughs> so the property is really big. Like, it's quite a walk all the way over. We are in the oceanfront room. It's quite a walk all the way over to the theater room. But check it out. Hey, tip the dancers too, y'all. Like, they were so good. The dancers were awesome. And this is every night, guys. They had something planned for us.
gave me the car to go they told me there was no more rooms they gave me the car to go check on a room by myself unaccompanied and someone was in the room so i go back i had a few choice words for them because the, the check-in took forever they didn't have blankets there were was hair and stains on our blankets when they gave us the room we asked for another one they sent me unaccompanied to another room so we were so upset they finally gave us a room after four hours gave us extra blankets by that time the food was so bad that first day and night for dinner no seasoning just dry and gross like oh the eggs were like powdered eggs in the morning we were just like all right the next day we went out to check out Mutu Playa and Starfish, and we ended up moving hotels. By that time, they're like, okay, it's seven bucks to move for the rest of the week, the other six days. No big deal. Pay the seven bucks or 15 bucks, whatever it was, um, based on what we had initially paid. Um, and Starfish, as you can see here, beautiful, beautiful property. They were so nice. Two people accompanying us as soon as we get there, showing us around. They were so friendly. Um, the food was much better. The food was better. It wasn't great, but it was better. I think in Cuba, they have a lot of sanitary issues. They don't wash their hands. They don't wear gloves. It's it's just really bad. They leave things uncovered and open. Flies go in the food. So if you're gonna look at the food here, like if you're gonna eat, eat early. And like as soon as the buffet opens, go eat. Because when the food is sitting there, it, it uh, I got I had some stomach sickness and diarrhea for like a week after we got back. Don't eat the rice at Starfish, okay? We ended up switching to Starfish. Don't eat the rice. They don't cook it properly, unfortunately. Everything else was fine, so long as you go as soon as the buffet starts, right? Like, don't let them have the food sit too long. And whenever there's a new tray of hot food that comes out, you had better go get a plate, okay? <laughs> All right, so yeah, we had a nightmarish time at, at, at um, Ibero Star. The entertainment was great though. The, like the drinks were great. It was just the food was so miserable. Like my family's faces were so long <laughs> and sad. So we went, we took on the, went on the hop on, hop, hop off bus. It was like five bucks per person, so 15. And um, they take card or cash, right? US dollars. They don't take Canadian, okay? And they showed us this great bungalow when we switched hotels at, uh, to Starfish. It was like an apartment style. They call it bungalow. Um, that was our, our price package. Um, I mean, it's not, again, it's not perfect. It's not a five-star hotel, guys. It's not a five-star, but <laughs> there are bugs in there, okay? Make sure you tip your cleaners as well so they keep the place clean. Our, t our person did such a good job keeping it clean. Um, yeah, but they, there are bugs that get in there, little, like, um what are they called like toads or whatever but they don't do anything like they're they're harmless right don't worry about it again this is another beautiful property starfish so check it out um again i recommend ibero star for the property but and entertainment but not for the food bay of vista i recommend starfish for the overall experience all right just take caution when you eat the food that's it really like i don't want to go too much into the weeds as you can see it's beautiful go to cuba have a good time all right spend the money spend the time with your family starfish had really good entertainment as well as you'll see in a few minutes but yeah the grand the grounds were beautifully uh, landscaped it was amazing amazing beautiful people as well And the beach, like it's just further down the strip. The beach is beautiful as well. Clear, shallow, clean, fish in the water. I mean, it's just it's just great. It's great. And this is the afternoon and the beach isn't even that busy. So yeah, after checking out some hotels, we decided to switch. We went out back on the bus. Um, don't do not do taxis. You don't need to do taxis, guys. Just go on the hop on, hop off bus, the panoramic bus. And uh, like I said, you pay your 15 bucks if it's, or five bucks per person, then you check it out. 
you know, after checking out some hotels some uh, for the next the rest of the week, we went back to Iberostar for the night and then we left the next day after complaining. But um, the rest of the week was perfect. It was fantastic. It was great. I just want to give you guys a sense of what it's like traveling in Cuba to an all-inclusive. It was so much fun. And then we got back and our room was like great. It was clean. And then the next day they had fresh eggs. They didn't have the liquid powdered eggs that were gross. <laughs> it was just like not edible. The food was so bad. And then, but it got better. It got better. But by that time we were leaving. Fresh mangoes were fantastic. They had fresh coconut as well, which was so much fun to eat and enjoyable. The sunsets are beautiful in Cuba, y'all beautiful sunsets we had so much fun oh my gosh and you're seeing uh, my kid having uh, a beautiful uh, t a piano teacher she was giving him a lesson because he likes piano make sure you tip the pianists as well the, the the piano players tip them too all right they're working they're added to the vibes the atmosphere this is that starfish so by this time, we, we, we already moved and checked into Starfish. We were happy in the bungalow there. And then we did our day trip to Havana. Day trip to Havana, y'all. It was awesome. They picked us up in a 1950s car. The tour guide was fantastic. So it's about a two hour drive. Two hour drive all the way to Havana. Yeah, it's like a two hour drive and, and they tell you like all the sights and sounds and, and everything along the way. And then we got in there to Havana. Havana Unana. <laughs> we got in by the tunnel. And again, this is so. This is a car, a car tour, right? We had a really cool um, classic car tour in a 1952 Chevy Bel Air convertible, mint green. We couldn't get the red one, but they picked us up in the red one with convertible hard top. Sorry, it's a hard top with uh, air conditioning, and then they switched us into the convertible when we got there, and we did a nice little um, photo shoot. So this was with a different different company from Air Canada Vacations. We found this company, HC Tours Havana. HC Tours Havana. Look them up on Google. They were amazing. They were responsive. It was so much fun. We went to Liberation Square, Revolution Square, um, where Castro, Fidel Castro, used to do all his speeches. Che Guevara um, is on that hotel in the background. Beautiful, beautiful scenery for pictures, guys. And then you do the car tour all around the city.
So we're just cruising all around the city in this convertible car. It was amazing. Nobody troubled us. It's safe. Cuba's very safe. There's a lot of poverty, y'all. So, I mean, if you want to tip people, just like be generous, be kind on the street, that's up to you. And then they took us to get uh, pina coladas. They took us on a stop to get pina coladas. You can get cigars, rum, whatever you want, whatever you're into, right? And all this is the convertible car tour by um, car. And then you switch to a walking tour of Old Havana after that. So it was a full day. It's a little hard and tiring on the kids, but, but you know, you hit up Revolution Square, right? Um, you can stop for snacks, which we did. And then uh, you do your photo shoot on the walking tour. Or you could do it on the car tour, whatever you want. We passed the uh, U.S. Embassy, which uh, I believe opened under Barack Obama, President Obama. Cuba! <laughs> It was so much fun, guys. Do this tour, HC Tours Havana. It was fantastic. Well worth the money. I don't remember how much, I think it came to like 250 US with the photo shoot. You gotta bring your own SD card too, cause um, file transfer, like Cuba's internet is really slow. That's another thing at the hotels, like the internet is really slow and you gotta log in and it logs you out every few hours. That's the other thing about Cuba, but disconnect for a while right there's nothing wrong with that but for, for the file transfers if you do the photo shoot just bring your own sd card so they can transfer it to you right away and they don't have to do it overnight online and take a long time to uh, upload So we're heading down to lunch. We got some beautiful pina coladas. We're at this, I don't even know what this place is called, but it was on the tour, AC tour. And we had a uh, lobster, appetizer, beverage. The soup was really good. Um, it's like Jamaican soup too. Like it looks really similar. Like I said, lobster, rice and peas, some veggies, shrimp. Um, I think chicken was the other dish we had. It was so good, so good. And all that was like 25, I think it was 25 per, per plate. And it came with the ice cream. And then, yeah, th this is the end of the car tour. We're in the car parking lot and we started the walking tour of Old Havana. Yeah, and this is more uh, back at our resort at uh, Veradero. But yeah, make sure you go to Havana on your trip. Don't go to Veradero and not go to Havana, okay? And don't go to Havana and not go to Veradero. Even from Havana, if you fly in or go on the cruise, you want to check out the beaches in Cuba, right? Like, it, there, you got to go to the beach. You got to go to the beach and go to the city. And with all these remote jobs I'm showing you on the page, right you can work remotely even from cuba like a place like that while you're traveling but like i said the internet's a little bit slow so maybe cuba's not the best place but it's important to work remotely make remote money and travel and just have that freedom and flexibility to be wherever you want whenever you want and this is it like this is the room 
This is the, the apartment bungalow. It was beautiful, it was nice. And it was an all around good experience, guys. It was so much fun. As you can see, the kids are having a good time. There's so much fun things to do in uh, Cuba. They really make sure the kids are enjoying themselves too. There's live and entertainment too at Starfish as well. Again, every single sunset was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was such a good time to just de-stress and relax. We've been working so hard all year. We got this beautiful rainbow. It was like a sign from God <laughs> after Noah's Ark, right? Yeah, it was such a good time, man. Book those vacations, right? You only live once. God has given you all this land and beauty to discover his creation. Just go check it out, man. Life is more than work. Viva Cuba. Right? These are some uh, treats we had. So, some views of the food. You got to book the restaurants, eh? When you get there, book the restaurants. This was Cuban Day. See them in their uh, Cuban clothes, dancing, playing some music. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.